To be honest, we have a bunch of things, but we just got hit with some things that we really haven't even done our research on, but we just watched it. We really want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And it's the whole Ryan Garcia and Andrew Tate conversation. Wild. That, first of all, what's going on? Like, what, what's real? What's fake anymore? All I know is if Andrew Tate is telling you to be careful, you like, bro. Oh, okay. Like, so slow let, down. Let's, let's you break it down I mean? for them, right? Yeah. So I actually had it in my notes to talk about, uh, everybody's been talking about Ryan Garcia and they're saying that he's kind of losing his mind or he's on some type of drugs. These are, this is what people are saying, dude. Stop looking at me with judgment, bro. Also, the braids. It's the way she's holding her braids. Yeah, dude, that's you're, what's you're doing real it. sassy right you now, You look like, like a, you're real like sassy a popular, right now. popular girl that's like How about waiting I to just, pick on someone. I just live, let me fill them in, and then you guys can give your little sassy little input. Listen, I can't control my reactions to speak. Oh, did you see? She did the braids thing again. She ran it dude, down. Like, she's like, I can't control. You can't control me. <laughs> you can't control me. I'm like, damn, bro. Uh, okay, sorry. Break it sorry. down. Break it down. Okay, let me break it down for you guys. So <laughs> people have been saying that Ryan Garcia has been kind of losing his mind. A lot of people are saying that he's having a mental breakdown. Some people are speculating that he's on drugs. Um, Is this all based off like Twitter stuff? So yeah, if you watch that? the way he's behaving recently versus the contrast of how he used to behave, there is some stuff that people that even love him could tell there's something going on. Hmm. Okay. Now, before this conversation with Andrew and Ryan took place, I wrote into my notes, and I have my own opinion of Ryan that I kind of wanted to just voice. So I'm going to get into that, and then I'm going to tell you what I feel about this video chat call because it, it completely spun me in a whole different direction. Mm -hmm. So when I saw everything online, I thought this, and this is truly how I felt. This industry is very tough. Very, very tough. I was talking to my dad about this the other day. I think it's very unfair what happens. And I'll give you an example. We look at child stars grow up and now they're on drugs and they're kind of a mess and we go look at them stupid they they wasted their life they had this they had that but then when i walked into hollywood i realized that these poor kids had no chance no chance yeah. at like having a good life a, a normal life and why because to... of their surroundings and the way that they're squeezing money out of these kids got it so when you're involved in hollywood and you don't have a good home and family you are now just a money bag to them. Mm -hmm. And they will use you and abuse you and do whatever they can. So I told my dad, I go, not, we need to stop talking about people in the limelight and also start teaching people around us that like, we don't know who they are. Yeah. And I find it very sad that a child star didn't have a good home, got reamed. All they wanted to do was perform and make people happy. Mm -hmm. And then they get thrown away. And then the people that they were making happy go, look at you, you sorry excuse of a beep word. And yeah. I'm trying my best not to swear. Mm -hmm. and, and, like, and then we peg them out to be this. So when I saw Ryan Garcia in his last fight admit that somebody from his camp sold him out to let them know where he's injured... My mind went to, okay, this guy is very young, very talented, under extreme, extreme scrutiny at every moment of any decision he makes. But then he finds out that his own team, his own family, his own friends could be against him. That is a lot to deal with. Yeah. So then maybe I thought to myself, he escaped through stuff that I did when I was going through it. I, I went to smoke weed because I wanted to numb myself because I didn't want to think about the, the things that were breaking my heart. And, and I had to pull myself out of that, get myself you know, back with God and back with my family. But I was blessed with that mindset to do that. And I was blessed with a good foundation with my mom, my dad, my sister, my friends. And they, it, to be honest, broke me down, rebuild me up for me to be able to be in this industry. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. But if a man doesn't have that and we've seen that his team is selling him out, what are they doing behind closed doors that we don't even know about? So that kind of broke my heart. And I'm like, that sucks that now even his own fan base or people are like trying to drag him down. It's like, bro, like you, you couldn't, the people that talk about him couldn't stand in his shoes. So I wanted to publicly stand out and say, hey, bro, like if you need me, we've talked. I can't get a hold of him, by the way. This is a, this is the weird mm -hmm. part. I can't get a hold of him. Um, just to talk to him as a friend, just to be there for him as a friend. And and that that's what worried me. And I was going to get on the podcast and talk highly about him and try to motivate him from a screen and also maybe try to change people's perspective on how we should really be monitoring people that are being entertainers, you mm -hmm. know? Okay, so that was my thought then. Yeah. But then I hear him go on this Andrew Tate thing. And what scared me is... and. 
a lot of people are saying that Andrew was a little sus about how he was talking to Ryan, being like, yo, be careful, blah, blah, blah. But if you really believe in these spiritual warfare or whatever that's going on in this world, I, it, from me, from hanging out with Andrew and also hanging out with Ryan, my perspective is Ryan finally had the last straw on what's going on, what he explains in this video, that they tied him down and watched, made him watch pedophile behavior. It was more graphic than yeah. That, I just yeah. don't want to. I yeah, don't want to. Of course, even of course, you shouldn't. Give but it was light dark. To that. It, was it was a really very dark. dark image he painted, and Andrew's response was, "Be careful where you're going." And if Andrew is telling you that, mm -hmm. you got to be careful. Sometimes a lot of people want to just that. I don't care. But it's like if you want to win the war, be smart. And a lot of people are saying, "Is Andrew a part of them now?" Because he's trying to get him to be quiet and be like. But I think he was looking at him like a little brother, like, "Oh, you finally understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. You should really be quiet." Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, now that we are seeing what I feel to be a maybe a meltdown or maybe a drug use to get away from something, or maybe the, what's true is that what he's saying is, "Oh, like they made me do this," or blah blah blah, like all all the graphic things, which I would highly advise you go watch this video of him and Andrew talking. It's hard to know what's real anymore, dude. Mm -hmm. And this is a scary thing to be a part of. Before you guys chime in, because I know I have been ranting, this is my one thing. Say it is real, say it isn't real. I think the most dangerous part of life is confusing reality with non-reality so that way you could get away with really bad things mm -hmm. and people could be numb to it and be like, well, well, we don't even know. Like, I'll give you an example. School shootings. When we first heard about them, we were like, bro, what? That's crazy. I knew people that would even go to work because they were sobbing. Mm -hmm. And now they're like, oh, school shooting, which state? Like, you get numb to it. Yeah. That, the numb part is what scares me. Desensitized. De being desensitized to these type of behaviors. Mm -hmm. Now that I've gotten this whole painting pictured. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Please, fill me in on your guys' thoughts. Well, if I may. Um, I just, you know, and, and I don't know a whole lot about Ryan, but from, you know, you having a relationship with him, you know, throughout the years and things like that, and the character that he's shown, I feel like now this information coming out, it just seems like to me there is no reason why Ryan would have like have any reason to go on Andrew Tate and make this up. That's why I think like if he's saying this, I do feel like in my heart then he's telling the truth because him going on and lying wouldn't this would only hurt his career and it's something so big and heavy I, I don't think that it's something that he would make up and then if that's the case and if this is real I mean there's not a single person here who can understand what he's going through and how he's feeling and so I just think that it's like okay well then if he has been acting a little weird on Instagram then clearly this situation this graphic situation that he explains on Andrew Tate it's clearly not probably the only situation that's happened I'm sure there's been small things that's happened leading up to this he also and said that he they they molested him at, at, at two at two that's right that's a crazy so, statement bro yeah so already if you're dealing with that trauma on yourself right you went through that when you're two years old we don't know his shoes. We don't know his position. And so I think people, you know, you said like, oh, he had been acting a little weird on Instagram beforehand. It's probably because God knows what's been going on in his life right now. And he has probably been trying to do whatever he can to make himself feel sane, make himself feel okay. So I don't think that his behavior like online has to dictate like whether what he said is true or not you know like i think he's going through about? like i think he's going through it so something is clearly going on yeah, I, I get it but you going through it and then and then saying some stuff like that is two different things dude you can't well, also he's also said he had proof mm -hmm. that's the other thing is like we just heard I about ju this i'm just confused because how do you have your phone but then you don't have your phone yeah you don't have access to your social medias but then you do have social it, media it access. sounded kind of manic to a certain degree. I, I don't I don't want to point fingers or anything or I don't want to say that he's making anything up. But it sucks that we're in this time where if he was making it up, we'd go, Oh, that makes sense. Because it's has but why it plays that? so much. But why into, that? But, but why that? You okay. know what I mean? Like that's a pretty like that's a yeah, pretty... That's it's a, very left field. But it's here's like, the thing, bro. Bell's... Uh, it, like, what she's saying has a lot of weight to it because it's not like he's trying to get famous. The kid has millions of people mm. tuning into his fights. He's in an amazing spot right now. Why would he, you know? Yeah. But also it's like, even if it was true, I feel like that was like a, 
a crazy way to go about. I mean, he maybe wanted to get the news out quicker. I don't know. I, it's just to me, it's 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 such um. You you, I really I know it sounds messed up for me to say this, but it, it's more dangerous for you to lie about that. Of than course. it is to see that, if that makes sense. It would break my heart to know that mm. it's true. It would also break my heart to know that it's fake. Because yeah. Yeah. then I'm like, dude, there's people that deal with this on a real basis. Mm. And you're just watering it down so that then the next person that talks about it is not, it's not, it's not a real thing. But, but also, again, it's like, why is he doing that? He has a fight coming up. He has all this stuff going on. Like, it, it, I don't know.